Ask credit by the test of usernames. You're given the option to drop what you have and return to the 31st of December 2011 as yourself at that age, but with the extra 8 years of experience. Do you take it? Why or why not? In a fucking heartbeat. My entire life crashed because of one decision I made in 2012. I don't care about the money, I just want the chance to fix myself and be okay. What was that decision if you don't mind me asking? I turned 21 in 2011. You're saying I could redo my 20s, with a 29 year old brain and experiences? Hell yes I would. I wasted a lot of energy, time, money, my youth being too stupid to move forward. Yeah, I'm 28 and fuck yes I would love another shot at my 20s. Oh yeah. My mom passed away in 2013. Dad died in 2018. I could get him to go get checked. Edit, thanks for the silver. For those of you asking I don't carry any regret for it. I don't even know if him getting checked would have made a difference, but at least we could try. 11th grade? Fucking absolutely, with the confidence and personal peace I have now. Oh my lord. I found my old phones from high school a few months ago while visiting my mother, and it was pretty bittersweet looking through the old texts and photos. I was such an angry kid, I thought everyone hated me, and I missed every signal any girl would put out. Hindsight would have been such a great fucking cushion to hold on to. Breathe, drink a little water, rice instead of fries, and look them in the eyes and I would have completely skirted past the mental health issues. Great question by the way OP. It's something I think about often. It's been 3 hours into 2020 and of the great things I'll hopefully hear rice instead of fries and look them in the eyes is already looking tough to beat. Bravo. Edit, I get a t-shirt worthy phrase and some silver. Everything's coming together. Thank you friend. I'm the Bitcoin investment comment. Many years back they increased the number of earned income tax credits from 2 to 3, so we got a nice tax return of over $7,000. At the time, I had recently read in the news that Bitcoin was increasing in value it was over $3 at the time, which was quite an increase. I joked to my wife that we should take the whole return and but Bitcoin with it. I wasn't serious. I expected it to go back to being worth a few cents before long. If I hadn't sold them at their peak value, I'd be worth almost 50 million. I'm not allowed to tell my wife this anymore. That was 6 months before I got seriously injured for the fifth time. I think I'd take it. What was the injury if I may ask? No I would have 8 years of memories with my husband that he wouldn't have. Plus I'd have to live through him losing his dad again, and that was brutal. But if we could both go back, then yes, absolutely. Yeah, same. I'd do it in a heartbeat if my wife could come too. No way would I do it without her. Yes because I would be able to have a fresh start. Deleted. Seriously. If I had my lux from back then combined with the confidence I have now, I'd be unstoppable. Yes. With everything I know now, I could easily go back and be a millionaire. Man, I could too, but what if I don't end up with my same three kids like that one movie? Yes, because. 1. Bitcoin. 2. Stop myself from making certain stupid financial decisions, that cost thousands and gave my phone number to scam agencies from whom I still get calls on occasion, in 2012. 3. Take my 20s more seriously in general. 4. Bet on the Cubs winning in 2016, even though I don't really need the money from that because Bitcoin. Also bet on Leicester City to win the Premier League. Yes. My nana was run over and killed last month when she was walking home from the store in a hit and run. 
I would do anything to turn back time to see her again or try to prevent what happened. I'm sorry about your nana. I would tell my dad to get regular scans so that they catch his cancer before it's too late. I miss you dad. I would tell my dad he wasn't on a safe slope in his tractor, so that it didn't roll and kill him. I miss you dad. Absolutely. I'd never give the poor excuse of a boyfriend I had a chance that year. I'd save more money use it wisely and I'd be a hell of a lot more confident mostly because I'd keep the extra 8 years experience. I would have dumped my manipulative high school boyfriend the second I moved to college. If I had the confidence, knowledge, I do now, I would have swatted him away with no hesitation and it would have improved my freshman and sophomore years immensely. Both academically and socially. Definitely. 10 years ago I was grumpily dragging my feet up the stairs when my mom woke me up in the middle of the night. Now I'm sitting here thinking about how, for almost all of the past 10 years, I've been trying so hard to be who everyone else wanted me to be that I don't even know who I am or what I want to do with my life. If I could go redo it, I'd live my life for myself instead of those around me. This is why I moved out of my parents house a few years ago. I realized, since like middle school, I had been trying so hard to make everyone around me happy that I didn't know what made me happy. Not really, anyway. Now here I am in my mid-twenties, a college dropout with a mediocre retail job trying to figure out what the fuck I'm doing. Yes and no. Yes because it would give me an opportunity to change my life. No because I would no longer have my kids. My kids are teenagers now, so I'd get to have another 8 years of them being little kids, and I'd have the chance to be a better parent to them. They're doing fine, really, but having an extra 8 years of parenting under my belt would probably help me do a little better. And those were great years. I loved it. Also I'd have my dog back he passed away last summer and I'd love to have a few more years with that colossal dumbass. Also purchasing lots of bitcoin. Deleted. Oh my g-o-o-o-o-d. I don't deserve it. Took me too long to realize that 2011 was 8 years ago. No, I don't think I would. I'm very happy with my life at the moment, like, really happy, and if I went back then, I'm afraid I'd mess something up, causing my life to change drastically. And for reference, until this year, I wasn't satisfied with my life until, well, this year. Same here. Lost 40 pounds this summer. I can finally talk to girls without having a heart attack. And I didn't lose my scholarship. Maybe I still have stuff to fix but life has never felt as hopeful and full of potential as it does now. Thanks universe. Oh hell no. These were my worst years and I'm way past that. Now I'm good and I'm gonna stay this way as much as I can. Yeah but think of the bitcoin. No, I can't go back further than 6 years. My son is 6 years old and I can't risk him never being born. Have you seen About Time? Gets me every time I watch it. Hell no. I'd probably fuck it up more. This is too relatable. Yes. No doubt. Bitcoin alone would be worth it. And I'm not losing anything. This, I met my wife in 2011 and we don't have kids yet now so I would only be improving my life with the knowledge I have now. Plus, the Bitcoin. No, it's just too much effort. The most relatable answer there is. Deleted. What are the lottery numbers? Remember you're dropping everything and going back now. Yes. Why? 1. Get rich with investing future knowledge. 2. Dumping someone you don't live with or share finances with is easier than divorce. 3. Be where I am now at least 5-6 years earlier. 4. Use my memories of the past 8 years as fuel to do better without the regret of wasted time. 
know I had cancer or leukemia for those who are interested. Sorry to hear that. I have a 7 year old cousin with diamond black fan anemia and he's doing great. Just stay strong and have faith in the doctors. Yes. My best friend and fee and K would still be alive. F. This sounds like a very tough 8 years. Hell no. My eyes are set on the future. The last thing I need is being trapped back in a waking nightmare while still having my current knowledge. I'm not sitting through LMFAO having hit songs again. Fuck the man fuck those dancing hamsters 2020 and being fat it is, folks. Ooh an 8 year old with no new skills but the ability to drive. Definitely. Mom I want bitcoin. Yes. Absolutely. I'd still do a lot of the things I've already done. I'd just change a few simple things that have been hindrances for 2016 meter now. Bad choices in friendships, stupid choices in life, doing things I knew have instant gratification while ignoring the future to come. Biggest thing is knowing I'll be alive to say to myself, you're gonna see 2020 make it worth it. Yes, so I could live the last of my childhood again and be a lot more controlled with my young anger. Even so, I would still be fully supportive of my mother's decision to divorce her marriage with my father. Granted, I would have to go through the unmedicated depression again, but it would be worth it all just to go through the best years of my life once more. Oh, and I would have to go through school again, but so what? I miss school. Yes. Because then I wouldn't kill my best friend in a car accident. Shit. Yes, I would get all those distinctions as a child prodigy, and I could easily gamble on sports matches, etc and win every time provided I memorize results before I go. I would take it for stupid reasons like being the first one to photoshop Keanu Reeves. Can we push it just a year earlier? Yeah, or even just a few months. September 2011 is when I lost a really good friend who didn't want to be here anymore. I could have at least made sure he knew he wasn't alone. No because I am happy with where I am today. Had to scroll way too far to find another redditor that had no intention to rewind 8 years, for a reason other than kids not existing. I'd have to redo my years of grad school and work myself to the ground again to pay down debt and get my savings together. I'm much better off in basically every aspect of life now than 8 years ago. Yes. I spend more time with my dad and be more understanding of the disease, Parkinson's, that took his life this year. I could answer yes to this, and save myself from getting raped 7 years ago. I could save myself from cheating boyfriends, a job that almost killed me with stress, and the spiral of alcoholism, depression, and other untreated mental illnesses that followed it all. I could save myself a lot. But I still don't know where the past 8 years are taking me. I'm still healing from them, and I'm one of those types that learned the most from suffering, I guess. I wouldn't want to answer yes to this without knowing who the next version of me is. Maybe I'm better for all this. I like to think I already am. So thank you, spirit of new years past. I suppose I'll pass on that offer. As someone who got into a mentally and sexually abusive relationship when I was 14, I get you. I still have horrible anxiety and depression about what happened but I like to think it made me stronger, more knowledgeable, and above all, kinder. Sometimes, the things that makes us grow the most are hardships and difficult times, as unpleasant as they are. I wish peace for your mind and the recovery you need. Happy New Year to you. I would. It would be before I met my wife. I don't know that I could go through everything with her family again. The effect of her family and her mental health on me over the last few years has lead to me having severe depression nearly suicidal and losing my job and being blacklisted in my home area in my field. Even with the knowledge, my best efforts would likely only delay problems at best, 
I'd seen the family dramas coming a mile off as it was and my warnings fell on deaf ears. I'd probably not talk to her that day we met. In a heartbeat. Edit, adding details. Some people live their life with no regrets. Some live the opposite. I am in the later camp. I can tell not to indulge in any of my three ex-girlfriends. I can tell me to clear last year of college. I can tell me not to start smoking. I can tell me to work out and have a good physique so I can be attractive to a better class of girls. First impressions matter. I can tell me to socialize more. Sitting depressed at my apartment won't get me any new friends and will make me more of a loner. I can tell me to have a better friends. And not the one I met which made my depression worse. I can tell myself to enjoy life and youth more. I can tell myself to learn guitar when I had the time. Also there is Bitcoin, AMD and Netflix stocks. Added bonuses. No I'd become a billionaire but the person I am today would cease to exist. I would unnaturally become someone I was never meant to be. Damn man, that's something I wasn't expecting. Hell yeah. Ruined my life back in the early 2000s just because I wanted to live in the moment. Fuck all this and let's go. No never. I'm so close to finishing school I don't want to do 8 years of it all over again. I mean you'd mostly be doing stuff for kids with your current knowledge so you could just ace your exams and focus on avoiding past mistakes. A thousand times yes. I wouldn't have stayed so damn long at my dead end grocery store job, I would not get that DUI, I wouldn't try and date the girl who becomes my supervisor and manipulates the shit out of me, and I wouldn't have spent that year at a private college that ended up tripling my student loan debt. And if I still did all that shit, I would have bought new shells for the shotgun my grandpa left me so that when I pulled the fucking trigger I wouldn't have had a misfire. Thank you for letting me rant. Yeah. I'd get to see my mum again, and tell her to go to the doctor. Hopefully she'd have a better chance of beating that mega bitch called cancer. If I can keep redoing it till I get it right, yes. Fuck yeah. I would beat the shit out of the kids that bullied me, stand up for myself and have more confidence. That and invest in Bitcoin. 